Millennials, also known as Generation Y, are those born roughly between the early 1980s and the mid-1990s down to 2000. Known for coming off age during the digital revolution, the demographic were early adopters of technology and social media, which has also come to somehow define the generation. Well, being the largest generation of the global labor force, they are facing a rapidly evolving job market that demands new skills and abilities. With technology playing an increasingly central role in many industries, it is essential for millennials to acquire the skills they need to stay competitive in today's job market. And according to a recent report by the World Economic Forum, by the year 2025, over half of all the employees we have will require significant reskilling and upskilling in order to keep pace with technological advancements. On today's edition of uh, Career Hub, uh, powered by Africa Check, Ini Ikide, Head of Youth Engagement and Learning at Jobberman Nigeria right here in Lagos, joins me to discuss this. Thank you so much, Ini, for being part of our discussion. Thank you so much for having me. So I don't know if you're a millennial or you are a Gen Z, <laughs> but then uh, let's look at, uh, well, let's look at the valuable skills that you think our millennials need to have to be able to fit in today's job requirements and operations. Yeah, thank you very much uh, once again for having me. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm also a millennial. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm also very delighted to be talking about this uh, very important topic today. Um, so to, to, to do justice to the question you asked, I, I would say there are several valuable skills that uh, millennials can um, acquire for the sake of uh, improving their employability and also their long-term uh, career prospect. And I'm going to mention or categorize them into um, the first is the, the technical skills, right? Uh, the technical skills are skills that are relevant and particular to a particular to, to a field and industry. Uh, they can be uh, coding skills or non-coding skills. And the second is um, soft skills. Of course, soft skills are very, very valuable now. Um, and because this also transcends and um, does not necessarily um, get attached to a particular industry or sector. And we're talking about soft skills like uh, communication skills, uh, problem solving skills, uh, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and adaptability. Uh, the third I would say is a leadership skill, right? And uh, leadership skills are very essential today uh, because you need it in order to um, effectively manage um, a team. Uh, and, and leadership skills such as uh, delegation, uh, conflict resolution, and um, motivation. What is, I would say, uh, um, creative skills? Because creative skills are very important because we are living in a world now where we need to think about um, how to provide uh, innovative solutions to solving problems, uh, especially using an out-of-the-box um, approach. Uh, so creative skills like uh, design thinking, um, idea generation are, are very, very essential. And the fifth I would say is a business skill. Business skills because um, you want to understand and know the rudiments in uh, managing uh, business operations today, right? So uh, business skills, I would mention a few of them like uh, project management skills, uh, sales skills, uh, marketing skills, and um, also financial literacy skills. So these right. are, are, are five categories that I would uh, say are very valuable for business skills. All right, so um, it's one thing to acquire skills, and it's another thing to remain re relevant on the skill that is improving yourself and becoming up to date with the skills requirements. Uh, for millennials, how do you think they can improve on these skills, the categories of skills that you mentioned? What steps do you need they need to take that will be different from the um, normal traditional educational settings that they have been attuned to over the years? Yeah, thank you once again. Uh, very interesting uh, and a very important question you've asked. Um, there are several ways uh, that millennials can actually access. Um, the first, I would say, is the advantage of uh, online uh, uh, resources, right? Um, it, 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 the pandemic itself has made this uh, very, very important and necessary. There are so many online um, uh, platforms that, uh, that offer courses and even at a reduced cost. And I would also, it's also very important for me to mention that uh, no cost can be too much uh, to acquire a skill, uh, a, a new skill. Uh, so taking advantage of online resources, I would say, is uh, very, very important. Uh, the second would be uh, uh, to also uh, uh, 
much as possible to attend, I uh, would say, relevant uh, events like uh, webinars, um, also like uh, 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 networking events, right? Because you also want to go out there to keep up with the current trend in your industry, in your field. And also coaching and mentoring is also very important, right? Because you also want to um, uh, learn from the, your role model, learn from the expert field. So these are uh, three major steps I think uh, millennials can actually take. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, uh, everyone has some sort of opinion about the work habits of our millennials. Some can be a bit rigid, uh, some can be flexible, mm -hmm. some can pick up fast, while some it would take a whole lot of work to get them up to speed. But then when it comes to the role of employers now, uh, what do you think they can do to help the millennials in terms of um, upscaling their skills and helping them to get prepared for the kind of jobs that they will be getting into? Yeah, it's very interesting uh, because I would say uh, the role of employers today uh, is very, very crucial, uh, not just in um, attracting talent, but also in retaining talent uh, in the present uh, world of work. And there are several ways in which um, uh, employers can actually take this very, very proactive and um, proactive step. The first would be, uh, I would say, to embrace the growth mindset. Growth mindset is very, very key. Um, the growth mindset recognizes the fact that skills and um, development can, can always be improved over time. Um, so embracing the growth mindset is very, very important. The second is also to provide um, training and development opportunities for, for millennials. And uh, it is, it's, it's not just okay to have a training budget, but you also have to make judicious use uh, of the budget, right? In making sure that you, you're using the budget to develop uh, uh, the, 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 your associates and the employees you have in your organization. Right? So providing uh, a training and development opportunities also be very, very key. Uh, the third is also to make... Uh, resources available um, to, to, to your employees, right? Uh, this also includes um, webinars, um, sharing uh, online content, um, online resources, uh, and like, and also the encourage, um, employers also have to encourage their, 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 their employees to, to also attend relevant events, um, attend networking events, uh, and all that. And another aspect of this, the, question that is also very important is that employers must also find a way to reward and motivate uh, employees who uh, go out of their way uh, to invest their time and resources in developing themselves because this uh, itself will motivate others in, in, in going further. So what about the millennials now? What sort of advice do you think you can give to them? Because, of course, we live in a fast-paced techno uh, technology. You know, the pace at which technology evolves is fast. It's, it's, it's evolving very fast. So uh, what advice will you give them so that they will not feel overwhelmed? Because, of course, they need to constantly upgrade themselves or upgrade their skills and um, for them not to feel left behind. Yes, uh, we are, we're living in a world where learning has to be continuous and uh, it's a never-ending process. Uh, my first advice would be that uh, they have to embrace reality. And the reality of it is that uh, technology will continue to evolve and uh, there's nothing any of us can do about it. So embracing that reality that uh, is very, very key. The second is also the growth mindset. The growth mindset sees opportunities uh, and, and not uh, an overwhelming uh, situation, right? So the growth mindset is very, very key. And um, also for them to also understand that um, collaboration is, is, is necessary, very, very important um, in the current world that we are now because the, 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 the workforce is digital and um, also interconnected. So it's very, very important that um, they also try as much as possible to collaborate uh, as much as possible and also to take advantage of our social media platforms, right? Social media platform come very handy in this uh, current situation, right? Yes, social media uh, platforms where you can meet, uh, you know, I mean, uh, top professionals, you can connect with them, uh, they can also mentor you, they can also coach you, and all that. So these are very, very important um, advice that I all right, finally, finally, I mean, before I let you go, well, we are aware that AI is gradually um, coming into full force within the digital space. And of course, um, it's causing a bit of threat in terms of job loss and labor wipeouts. Now, even the Gen Zs with all their swags are trying to keep up with the advent of AI and what it pretends. But then do millennials have a fair shot at uh, remaining relevant um, within this um, digital space and what AI has to offer, even as they try to um, equally acquire the skills to stay relevant? Do they have a fair shot at it? Yes, uh, I would say uh, uh, technology, like I said earlier, uh, is evolving and uh, 
this is just the beginning, right? We have the introduction of 5G technology. Um, there's the charts, uh, GPT, and other uh, resources um, uh, in the powered and driven by artificial intelligence, right? And uh, what I would say uh, at this time is that upskilling is very, very important um, in order to remain relevant because um, uh, employers will continue to look for uh, people and individuals who are tech savvy and can easily adapt to uh, changes in technology. Right, and rather than uh, staying idle and, and waiting uh, for you to be uh, come with all dance, right, it's very important that you take advantage of this opportunity by also skilling and um, also asking yourself that how can you apply technology to the work that you do. Um, nothing is going to take technology, is, uh, there's nothing going to take technology away. Uh, however, we can always upskill ourselves, we can always uh, embrace that both mindset which believes that learning is a continuous process and a, a never-ending process. Mm. By putting this in my, uh, together, um, I'm very, very sure that uh, 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 people would, uh, millennials would always remain relevant. In the all right, all right. Thank you so much. And we're actually looking forward to a particular time where you have the, J, yeah. the Gen Ys, that is um, the millennials, and of course the Gen Zs, come together and cross-pollinate on ideas, operations, uh, intellectual capacity, knowledge, and all that, and um, further advance um, operations and businesses all over the globe. We hope that that will happen um, in no distant time. Thank you so much, Inikide, for joining us. Thank you very much. Bye. All right. Uh, critical thinking and problem-solving skills are essential for success in today's job market. Uh, as technology continues to transform industries, millennials must be able to develop a range of skills to succeed in today's technologically driven job market. And that is what even um, any asset this morning. And I dare to say that that is the only way that um, there can be some sort of growth, as it were, even in stiff competitions that millennials are faced with within the job eco space. So we hope that that, um, they can take a cue from this few in, uh, initiatives and discussions that have come out from um, today's career hub. And we hope that um, they can bring some sort of transformation and change to the operations and the deliverables in the companies that they work in or represent. Uh, that is it on today's edition of uh, Business Edge. You can follow us on social media. We are at New Central TV. Our website, www.newcentral.africa, is right there for you to plug into. And of course, you can download our mobile app on App Store and Play Store. Until next time, my name is Lekon Onobanjo. Do stay with us. The news will come your way at the top of the hour.